Hello, good evening. How is everybody? Another happy Wednesday. Um, sorry, I'm a couple of minutes late. A bit manic. Uh, drove straight from the studios today down to my parents, so hence change of scenery. Um, but just wanted to do a little live tonight because we get lots of questions about um, ordering custom prints. And um, I know that lots of you have had lots of success with them. And some other people just want some top tips um, and some advice on how to go about it, what they look like, how to make sure you get the best one. So I'm going to um, take you all over to the website this evening, uh, show you how to upload the pictures, give you a few top tips. Um, and then obviously I can answer any of your questions as well. Hi, Gemma. I am also in Craft Buddy headquarters tomorrow. So if you've got any product ideas we've got a good product development meeting tomorrow as well so if there's anything that you want to see anything you want me to tell them maybe i'll do some behind the scenes sneak peeks of some things coming up hi Gemma. hi linda um then obviously i'll do that too so keep an eye on social media tomorrow because i will See if there's some bits and pieces I can take sneaky pictures of for you. Hi, Lisa. Um, hope you all enjoyed the shows today as well. I had two shows today with Fred Flowers on Crate and Craft TV, so that was nice. Um, and then, like I said, I'll, I'll uh, do some behind-the-scenes pictures from in the head office tomorrow. Hi, Laura. Hope you're well. Been a while since we had a weekly live, hasn't it? I know. We have had, between uh, Easter and loads of different launches and it's been really busy i know naomi's been doing a few i've been doing a few over on the other page as well um but it's been a while since i've seen you guys here on a wednesday um so i'll give us a few more minutes just for a few of our regulars to join um and then for anyone who missed it i'm going to take you through custom prints tonight so ordering a custom print how to upload your pictures and all that sort of thing so let me know if you've done one as well i'd love to know what the topics are, um, normally it's cats, cats or dogs or babies, holidays, um, holiday snaps are a really good one. Um, hi, uh, Laura says, back to normal. Yeah, just about, just about. Um, hi, Doreen. Hi, Andrea. Oh, of course, we had bank holiday weekend as well, didn't we? Just gone. Um, hi, Adriana. Hi, Lisa. Nice to see you again. And you, I hope everyone's been doing well. My son would love Star Wars Crystal Art. Maybe. <laughs> Can't say too much. It's just topical today, isn't it? May the 4th and all that. Uh, hi, Michaela. Hi, Linda. Um, Lisa, I'll let them know. Uh, but there are lots of things that people are working on. Um, hi, Pamela. Um, I do look forward to my Wednesday evening. I know I've missed you all. I'm sorry it has been so manic. Um, and we've had Lots of new launches with the flowers and everything as well, so that's been keeping me busy. Hi Yvonne, nice to see you all. Okay, so let's talk custom prints. So, um, hi Sandra. Some of you may know that you can order a custom print uh, from the website. So this could be your favourite holiday picture, it could be a wedding um, photo, it could be um, a memorabilia photo, you just have to own the copyrights to the image. Uh, so if it's somebody else's photo, ask them for a copy and rights to obviously reproduce it. Um, so you can't really do things like your favourite artist's work and things like that. So it needs to be uh, photographs that you own the rights to or have permission from the person who took the photograph. Um, so lots of people do their pets, um, favourite holiday snaps, uh, like I said, weddings, anniversaries, they make the most amazing presents. Lots of the Create and Craft TV presenters have actually had customers send in pictures from um, from their weddings. Uh, um, Andy and Lowen and Love had one of their dog uh, and actually one of themselves as well. Uh, so if you want to do one for somebody, just ask them for a photo um, or uh, the rights to be able to use it. Uh, Laura says, got some cards to make and other projects to do while on election duty tomorrow. Oh, that's going to pass the time for you, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Um, so custom prints, you can order them on the website. I'm going to take you to that in a moment. I just wanted to show you one that I did my goodness me, years ago now, um, of Django, my dog. 
you'll notice that it's very quiet this evening. There are no naughty dogs around because I've escaped to my parents for a couple of days. <laughs> so I'm down in um, down in Chesham in the headquarters, uh, Craft Buddy headquarters tomorrow. So no dog disturbances this evening, but this is actually a photograph that my dad took of Django. I'll show you the photograph in a moment. Um, and when we first started doing custom prints, you couldn't necessarily check all of the options as to what size it was going to be, what it would look like, um, upgrading higher res images. So I'm going to take you through all of that. So this is amazing from far away. Closer up, because it's only a 30 by 30, you can see that it is a little bit blurry. If I had got this in a larger size, then it would be crystal clear, pardon the pun. Um, but I absolutely love it. It sits in my study and I'll show you the picture in a moment as well um, that my dad took of Django. In fact, here it is. Um, so this is the original picture here um, and obviously um, the prints and beautiful colours. So you can see that the background in the image is actually um, blurry anyway. So that um, focus is all on the dog, which obviously you then get in the picture. So it's not that the background didn't come out clear. It's just the way that we, uh, my dad obviously did the depth of field in the image itself. Um, and we've also done one of my nephews, which is really lovely. Um, and I will share with you in a moment. I'm actually going to upload that one onto the website uh, and let you have a look at that. Uh, crystal art jewellery boxes would be fabulous, says Linda. That's a great idea. Um, so, like I said, lots of meetings tomorrow. So I will put all of your suggestions to the table um, and uh, get some things rolling for you. There's lots of new products coming. I'm hoping I might get the go-ahead to sneak peek some, possibly. Uh, hi, Pam. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to pop on to the website so that you can have a little look on where to get your prints from. Oh, I've given it away already. Look, I've already uploaded it. <laughs> so, if you go to the website, um, so I'm just going to uh, let this take me back to the homepage. So, we'll go to Craft Buddy homepage. So, if you go to more crystal art, so for those of you wanting all sorts of crystal art, we've got our licenses, we've got Disney, Thomas Kincaid, and Stokes. There's wooden framed, there's cards, there's LEDs, there's clocks, there's notebooks. Uh, all our stamps and stickers as well. If you go to more crystal art, not only is it categorised by size, which is really good perhaps when you're first starting, there's creative crystal art, which are some of our purses, our keychains, uh, 3D scenes, some of our wreaths. We've got our accessories, of course, the storage. And just here, tucked on the little end, is personalised crystal art. Now, you can also get personalised paint by numbers, uh, but we'll do crystal art this evening. So this will take you to the page. Now, I can't actually see your comments, comments at the moment, but when I come back, um, I will answer any if you have any. Um, so, choosing the size of canvas that you would like. Um, and it says here two of the top tips. The bigger the canvas, the better the effect, because of course the image will be clearer. You're going to have more crystals to get all that lovely fine detail and also to upload a high quality image. So this isn't uh, like a, a photograph of a photograph that you've taken on your phone. Um, it's always best to do it uh, straight from, you know, a laptop, computer, iPad, perhaps um, something like that so that you can get the highest res in your um, image and of course that will make it even clearer as well. So if one of them doesn't look clear enough you can then either upload a bigger file um, and you can of course choose um, and just play around with it so just take your time with it. So framing you can have them unmounted so that would be your roll of canvas. So a lot of people like to frame them afterwards to have it in a frame maybe in the living room to have it behind glass to stop it getting dusty or you can have it mounted. So of course, unmounted will just be your roll of canvas. Mounted will be as all our crystal art canvases come. So with that hard board behind it and also stretched onto a frame. Personally, I find that easier to work with. If I click on this photo here, you'll see exactly how they come. So with that hard board and it's mounted onto the back of a frame, I just find that easier to work on because you don't have the creases in the canvas. You've then also got that hard board, which just gives you that little bit more pressure to be able to attach uh, your crystals really securely. And then uploading the photo. So click upload photo. It's gonna take you to your images. 
and select the one you want. So I've got 50 by 50 selected here. So as you can see, this is actually a picture of my nephews uh, from uh, mine and John's wedding uh, five years ago. Something like that. Um, so 30 by 30 is, of course, the smallest. And you can see that it's not particularly clear. That could be because I've got a lower res on my image. So if you um, put in a higher resolution photo, you will get a clearer, crisper image. So things like professional uh, photos, again, just make sure you have copyright for using them. Um, and then uh, obviously, you know, fancy Fancy pants cameras too. Now you can choose to have it 30 by 30. 30 by 40, of course, is gonna crop out some of that image. So you can just check that you're happy with where it's going to crop. But of course, the bigger you go, the clearer the image is going to become. So you can see just by adding those 10 centi uh, 20 centimeters, so I've gone to 50 by 50, already you can see that it's a lot clearer. If you go all the way, of course, to the large sizes, you can see that it's almost just like a photograph itself. So you get that beautiful image on there. Um, so amazing value for money as well. 64.99, all of your crystals will be included. So this will then get sent off to the factory. Of course, add with cart um, and you can change that photo as many times as you need. You can change it from landscape to portrait. You can have a little play around. You can go from mounted to unmounted doesn't particularly affect the, uh, the image at all. Um, so of course you can have that little play um, and make sure that you are happy with the end results. So once you've uploaded that, that will then go to the factory. Somebody will also double check it, just make sure that there's no, I don't know, arms chopped off or heads chopped off or something like that. Um, but also by you checking it on the website, that's you giving the go ahead for it to be printed. Um, once that then comes to us, so all of that will get um, put into their scanners and then you'll get all of the crystals coded. So then it will be set up in exactly the same way as our normal crystal artist. So you'll get all the codes, the numbers, and that will then correspond to the image. And then you're home and dry. Then you've got your beautiful art just as you would with a normal canvas. Okay, I'm going to see if there are any questions and if anybody wants me to go over anything as well. Let's have a little look up to where did I get. Hi, Philip. Hi, Sandra. Um, yes, Laura, I saw your one. Hello. Uh, Crystal Art Jewelry Boxes, got that. Hi, Jennifer. Can you get a custom one done just of a picture off the internet? No, so you'd have to have copyrights for it. So if you went on to something like... Uh, who does copyright free, like Shutterstock, then um, yes, you could because they are copyright free images. Um, but you will, if it's like a piece of artwork or somebody's photograph that they've taken of an area or, you know, your favourite holiday retreat, um, something like that, then just reach out to them and just say that you would like to get this done and is it all right to use the image? Um, and then, of course, you'll have written proof because they'll go, yes, it is, or no, it's not, and you keep on searching. Um, Hi, Joe. I've done at least five custom kits for gifts, one of each of my parents for my dad, two of a friend's dog, and one of a friend's wedding, which was shown on the collage on Craft Buddy Facebook advertising the live. That's amazing because I know lots of you share your pictures, and then our little poster to um, obviously remind you guys tonight. Um, I could see lots of you going, oh, some of those look familiar. Um, yes, Laura, you're right, you need to own the copyright. So a lot of people, if um, it's a photographer, they might just ask for like a token payment uh, for the image. They might be more than happy for you to do it so long as it's then not reproduced or sold. Um, but reach out to them. It's quite a talking point asking that you want to do something like that for Crystal Art. Hi Sue, hope Ruby's well. Um, Laura says, I'm hoping to be able to do a custom print. I just need the right photo. That's the thing, isn't it? Something that means something to you. I know um, lots of people have done um, images like favorite favorite holidays, nice little snaps they've taken, kind of something that invokes a memory for you, isn't it? Which is really nice. Uh, Laura, if I, get a pro if I get a photograph from a professional photographer, but the image gets uploaded to Facebook, would I be able to use it and save it again? Not from Facebook because um, the resolution, so the size of the photo, just wouldn't be good enough. Um, if you reach out to them and ask for the original, um, and if it's a photograph of 
you, if it's someone who took pictures from your wedding or whatever it might be, um, then they'll be able to send you a much higher resolution. Um, normally by email, sometimes you can use some of the um, downloading software. So if it's a really big file and it's too big for email, you can get it sent uh, straight to your computer using some of the software. Uh, like I use WeTransfer. That's a really simple way to send big files. Uh, the custom prints sound amazing. I'm going to get one of Gucci, my cat. What a name. Uh, he would look amazing on it. I know, Michelle, lots of people have pictures of the cat. In fact, um, Shara and our design team, I know, has been working on a paint by numbers of her cat. I'm yet to ask her if she's got a crystal art one. I'm sure she'll tell us. Um, Jennifer says, thank you, Sarah. It's one of the Sky Arts logos of umbrellas in a tree. So I'll definitely send them an email and ask for their permission. Absolutely. So long as they know it's for your personal use as opposed to commercial gain. So um, just add in that it's just for your personal use um, and that it's crystal art. You can always send them a link to the website as well so they can check it out themselves. And then so long as it's not going to be sold and it's not, like I said, for um, commercial, then I'm sure a lot of them uh, would grant you permission. Then if anything were to ever come back from it, you've got that written confirmation that you had the go ahead, which is always good to have. Uh, can anyone see what I'm writing? Yes, I can. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Antonio. I hope that uh, everything's working for you okay. Let me know if you've got any questions. Hi, Nikki. Um, so that picture that you saw me upload of my nephews uh, from my wedding, um, we actually ordered that for my nan. So when she, um, she got quite poorly, she was in hospital for a while. Uh, she had to come out and live in um, like a little sheltered house. Uh, so we wanted to make her home, well it wasn't quite home, we wanted to make it more homely for her, uh, for her to have some really gorgeous pictures of everyone around. Uh, so we ordered this custom print and my sister and I took it away with us. Um, I... You've probably heard me talk about it quite a lot because I say um, how how young my nephews had been doing crystal art. My sister and I took them to Cornwall and every evening after dinner, they would just go, oh, can we do a bit more of our picture? Because, uh, of course, they knew they were making it for Nan. My mum would have it for a couple of nights and she would do some, then she'd give it to my sister. She would do some, the kids would do it with her. Um, and here is their beautiful, proud little faces after they'd finished it. So this was them delivering it to Nan. <laughs> <laughs> and popping it on her wall um so that's harry and hudson my little nephews um so actually they weren't too young then i know they've been doing it since they were about four uh i'd say probably harry's about five or six there maybe um but they absolutely loved it and it was such a family project and it hangs on her room um on her wall in her nursing home now so she's always got that to look at which is really nice and of course it's a nice big size as well uh, but she knows that we all made it for her so it's got as well as having the memories of the photograph itself it's the fact that you've then made it for somebody which is normally beautifully well received um hey i want a custom print but they come in square diamonds don't they no ours are round drills so I prefer the round drills personally because you actually get the printed image in the background. So it gives, I find it makes it less pixelated because you also get that background co colour coming through as well as, um, of course, in um, the, the colour of the, uh, the crystal itself. So no, ours are all round. So you can choose whether to have it unmounted or mounted, uh, but the drills are always round. Um, and a lot of people actually say that they find them easier to work with as well. I don't know, let me know. Let me know if it's true. Um, so let me know if you've got any other questions. Um, it's super easy to work with. And if you ever have any questions, let us know. I'm also going to upload this video onto YouTube so that if at any point, whether you take a week or two weeks to find the image of choice, and then you want to upload it, um, you can hop onto YouTube. I'll make sure that this is saved on there. You are more than welcome. And Laura does prefer round drills. Excellent. Me too. Um, I will save it on YouTube so that when it comes to uploading it, you can just use this 
as a little reminder. But if you ever have any problems, of course, you can get in touch with us at Craft Buddy. And you all know the wonderful Mina and customer services, always happy to help. Um, lovely. Well, I have had a super long day because uh, I was at the studios super early today and I'm in the office all day tomorrow. So I'm going to leave you to it unless I'll give it a couple of minutes in case there's any other questions that I have missed. Um, I'm not sure if I have a live next week. Hmm. I will find out tomorrow and we will make sure that we post up. <gasps> Faye, what a question. Sarah, if you could be a superhero or character, who would you be? Ho ho ho! Who would I be? I used to love Wonder Woman. I actually had a fancy dress for, hmm, how old was I? I don't know, something in my 20s. Might have even been my 21st and I dressed up as Wonder Woman. Maybe I could be her. I just think she's awesome. Um, I'm not sure who I'd be. Good question. I'll have a think about it and I'll post it on my social media tomorrow. <laughs> Any new Thomas Kincaid or Disney coming out? Yes, there is. I'm not sure about Thomas Kincaid, actually. Um, somebody else asked me the other day. So that is on my list of questions to ask at the office tomorrow. I will have a little route around and see if I can get some answers for you. Yes, I know there are some more Disney licenses characters coming soon i've seen people working on them it's very exciting um i will tell you all about it soon um i think the only time craft buddy did square drills was a christmas card five to six years ago Ooh, that must have been some of their very first cards perhaps i don't think i've ever seen a square one more maybe it'll become one of those like limited editions like a collectible <laughs> item <laughs> Keep hold of that. Might be worth something one day. <laughs> um, Linda, you've been a hardcore fan for a long time then. I love it. Um, who asked me about being a superhero? Mm -hmm. I can't find your question now. Faye, I want to know who you'd be. I love that question. I'm going to, if I'm up all night now thinking about it, <laughs> I'm going to blame you, Faye. <laughs> um... Do they come full or partial? Uh, so they are full. Um, we haven't yet got the ability to distinguish between an image, whether it's a full or a partial. <clears throat> so the images that you upload, whether it be a 30 by 30, 40 by 50, 50 by 50, 60 by 90, etc., um, they will be full crystals. Uh, I finally made a card from scratch using leftover crystals. Yay, Laura, well done. Um, doesn't it feel good? Not only are you kind of upcycling, reusing. It didn't cost you anything because <laughs> it was absolutely free, which is amazing. Um, do share pictures as well. Head on over to our groups. Um, I'd love to see what you made. That'd be really lovely. Hi, Maureen. Um, so guys, this uh, video will of course always be saved on our page. I will also upload it onto YouTube so that you've constantly got that refresher and then you can always uh, use this as a little reminder when it comes to custom prints, I know lots of you have already had fun with them, but if you ever need any other questions uh, and answers, then let us know and we'll be more than happy to help. Um, keep an eye on all the pages tomorrow. I'll see if I can get some behind the scenes pictures. I'm always trying to introduce new members of the team to you and they're very camera shy. So I might do a little poll, like who thinks we should have a big group shot or something like that because they just avoid me. They see me walk in and they run away. <laughs> so I'm going to try and catch a few of them tomorrow. Um, love to you all. Thank you so much for your company. Hope I managed to help break down some of the fears in ordering your custom prints. Um, and of course, we will keep you up to date as to new launches and next week's Facebook Lives and TV shows and everything as well. I do have a crystal art show next Wednesday. Nine and one, I think it is, uh, on Creating Craft TV. That will be the 11th if memory serves me right. Um, and we have brand new crystal art wall stickers. Um, so like the home decor or decals as they're sometimes called, uh, like our butterflies that we had, they are amazing. And the team have done some amazing samples with them. So I can't wait to show you that. Um, and again, of course, we'll put up a few sneak peeks. Uh, but I will see you next Wednesday on telly. So that's on Create Craft TV. Thank you all so much. Have a great evening and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.